G'day everyone. Here's the VE01 vacuum engine, beam vacuum engine that I bought recently. It's uh, very nice. You can see it's got the brass legs on the base. I wasn't sure what these two rub screw allen keys were. What they are at the manufacturers they've put these on lathe, CNC I'd say, and they've turned the inside and you can see there that there's a shoulder on the inside of both of them. So then what they've done, that spoke is pushed on and then the grub screw is holding that on. It's, uh, I, I haven't seen that before, but it, it works. The, the only thing you can see these grub screws, but besides that it works. This one was running perfectly true. This one was out over eighth of an inch. So that took a bit of fattening to get that right. There's a bit of missed spray here. Whoever done the spray job, they've, they've missed a bit of spray. And down here on, on I think that's plastic, that part down there. That, that's definitely plastic here. All this is metal. There's a little bit of spray missing there. But uh, it's a beautiful red. And like, as we all know, us blokes and even you ladies, what's red looks nice and goes fast. It's got this burner adjustment, which, I don't know. I don't know if this is a novelty or it's going to be handy. Because with my other vacuum engines, flame gulpers, it's very critical sometimes the distance, or not sometimes, always the distance between the flame and the engine opening there. So we'll see how that goes. That's, that's going to be interesting. It comes with some extra of these um, brass reeds that I've never worn one out, but it, it, it says in the manual. I've never had a manual with the vacuum engine before either, but it says that they will eventually wear out. But uh, I like it. I think it's really give you a close look here it's hefty it's got some nice weight to it I really love this beam the, the machining on this beam is just really nice the machining in, on the engine here is really nice it's got a hook there for the reed valve and there's a spring here that gets actuated on that roller bearing there. It's got a, you can, might be able to see inside, it's got a brass piston. But it just feels really nice. It feels very smooth. Haven't run it yet. Wicks new. So um, without further ado, let's put some metho in there and see how we go. That's threaded. This isn't threaded. The plug's not threaded, neither does it have a hole through it. I'm thinking that it hasn't got a hole through it because it, that would have turned into when this gets hot. I think that the vapors coming out of here that they probably would have got a jet of flame coming out there so even though they thought that was going to be threaded, it's not. And there's no hole going through there. I, I don't know. I think that's a I think that's a fairly good idea. I think if I'd if I'd made it I wouldn't have put a hole in there either. I think there would have been definitely a, a jet coming out from the, the metho. And that wick's getting wet. Yeah, wick's wet. Alright. Let's see if it goes first go. Alright, we go. Set that about there. Maybe just a bit. That a bit closer. I'm happy with that first go. Okay, one, you know, 
I hope the video is picking it up, but as I'm winding that in, the revs are picking up in the engine. Wow, that, I'm very happy with that. That was my breath, I blew that out, talking too loud. That's how temperamental these are. Just the... See, they've got blown out again. Okay, here we go. I've never had a vacuum engine with a flame adjuster like that and uh, I'm pretty impressed, that's working really well. See how long it keeps going at that speed for, it feels like it's going to stop, I just wind in a little tiny bit, yeah. Well, that's going to be fun to play with and muck around and see how slow I can get that going before it conks out. Very small adjustments are, are making a difference to the running of that engine. Okay, that was a bit too much. That's about half a millimetre too much, and it's out. I'll just blow that out. Another thing that's on here is they've got a... You can see that brass has got the, the three screws going into it. Same deal on this side. It just looks, looks very elegant, and uh, I'm sure that if I take those off and uh, on the lathe I can turn up uh, another one of these and easily put a pulley on there to uh, drive accessories. It sounds like it's going to have enough power to maybe drive some smaller accessories. I'd love it to be able to run a baker fan, but all in all, I am I'm super impressed with this purchase. Really happy. Um, for those of you who saw the unboxing video, you'll see the way these things come packed. It's just, it's the, the packing's unbelievable. I've, I've bought hundreds of engines off eBay, and uh, 
unfortunately some of them arrived in a state of disrepair that virtually uh, almost irreparable so, and some vintage beautiful old vintage engines so the manufacturers of these things they're definitely um, they definitely up their game with packaging it's just looking in there in the piston from what I can see that's really machined nicely that brass piston I know a lot of us are, are, are more uh, steam bent on steam engines and that's what we like to go for but I tell you what when you haven't got time to get out a steam engine and you just want to do something quick and easy and just have some fun a sterling engine or a, a flame liquor flame copper whatever you want to call them it's uh it just hits the spot just looking at this this machined aluminium beam it's just done so well it's painted at the top and you see it's just really like that all right give it another run I'll wind it in a bit now You can hear it picking up on the video. I'll just wind it out and slow it down until it stops. I've never had a vacuum engine running that slow ever. I am suitably impressed with that. I thought that was going to be a novelty. Looks great and it functions better than I thought. That's just terrific. So close, just, just. Oh, I thought I'd gone too far then. Okay, I'll wind that out. Stop that now. Blow that out again. <laughs> okay, there we have it. A VE01 vacuum engine. Um. I think you probably can hear the enthusiasm, the enthusiasm in my voice about how happy I am with that. And uh, as always, I do appreciate the comments that you guys leave. I do appreciate the likes. And uh, I do appreciate you looking at my videos even. Uh, we all do this to share and for the enjoyment.
that we get from creating videos and uh, I always look forward to watching you, you guys what you guys buy and put up okay that's from me be safe have fun and as always thanks bye for now